the first thing we're going to do is grab one of these one by one plates with ring clip on side and on that front stud we're going to get a one by one tooth plate and just put it right there on top like that and here we've got the front of our x-wing fighter and then to create the x foils on the side all we do is get these tiles with clip on top and put them so that they clip onto that back ring clip and they face this way towards the front and back of the X-Wing fighter. And that two times for the four X-Foils, and there we have an X-Wing fighter. Grab your one by one tile with clip on top and turn it so that the kind of clips are on the top and bottom and that open hole is on the sides. And the reason you do that is because it gives us enough room to put these tiny minifigure hands on. And to put those hands on, you want to make sure that that part that just goes a little bit further down than the other side is in the middle of this tile clip. So we just put it on the side um, and then, you know, of course, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. And then we do that on the other one, same thing, where the thicker part is going towards the middle of that tile piece. And then you have to kind of adjust them these little sides so that they're perfectly aligned just right there and they fit nicely and give the body of the X-Wing a little girth and also take on the form of the S-foils. And now here's the thing, when I first found this on Pinterest, I loved it. I thought, oh my goodness, this is genius. It's, it's like the most uh, d interesting design I've ever seen for an X-Wing fighter micro. But then like a few days later, I'm like, ah, I, don't, you know, I don't know if I really like it. Does it really take on the form of an X-Wing? Would people know what it is? I mean, it's just such a unique look, but it's also a unique design. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to build it, do a tutorial, and just let you guys decide whether you like this design or not. But it's definitely interesting and unique enough to warrant doing a tutorial. So now that's all on, we've got that clip here and we're going to grab a unicorn horn and these unicorn horns are not the most popular pieces and they don't come in a lot of colors so i went with white because it's close enough in color to the x-wing fighter that i thought I, that's the color i want to use and now with the unikitty series maybe they'll be making more colors but who knows but after we put that clip into our unicorn piece we have a complete x-wing fighter The first thing we're going to do is grab a headlight brick and you get it so that part that kind of you know shoots out a bit is in the back of our X-Wing and then to create the nose of our X-Wing we're going to take a one by one slope piece and have it so that the thin part's on top and then it slopes down towards the thick part and then on top here to create our cockpit we're going to get a one by one translucent black tile piece and just put that right there on that top stud and then here we've got the front of our X-Wing. Now to create the wings we're going to get a one by two jumper plate and I'm using red to create you know Luke Skywalker's squadron and we're gonna put it right there the hole in the stud and then to create those famous X-wings the S-foils we're gonna get a one by one plate with clip on side and just put it right there in the back of the jumper plate and on the other side and there you have an X-wing fighter ready to make its approach on the Death Star Trench. To create the nose of our X-Wing fighter, we're going to get a plain one-by-one one Lego brick. Don't use those very often. And then we get a slope piece and have it so it slopes from the small end down to the fat end. And that's going to create the nose. And now in back here, we're going to get a one-by-one one red headlight brick. And I'm using red because Luke Skywalker was in Red Squadron when he took out the Death Star. And I'm going to put it in here so that headlight brick is facing up. And then on top of that headlight brick, I'm going to get a one by one translucent black tile for the cockpit and just put that right there on the headlight brick and kind of see the uh, X-Wing fighter taking shape. Now in back of that headlight brick, I'm going to get a Travis brick and put it so that, that hole is facing the back. All right, so now we've got this in the body of our X-Wing fighter and to create those wings, the S-foil wings, We've got a one by two plate with handlebars on side, and you're gonna put, there's a little stud there in the center, you're just gonna put that right on top of the Travis book. So you put those holes together like that. And this does have moves, so you're gonna have to adjust it to the right position. And you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom here, get our plate with handles, and put it right there. And here we have an X-Wing fighter ready to take on the Empire. The first thing we're going to do is grab our palm tree top piece and in the top of that there is a long rod, that single rod, we're going to get a one by one 
cone piece and just stick it into the rod all the way like that. And our X-Wings front is already complete. Now to create those famous S-foils, what we're going to get are these one by one plates with a ring clip on side and there should be holes in there. What you're going to do is you put those holes onto the back rods here and you just put them all the way in there like this and I like to have the studs on top to make it more uniform but that's up to you. It doesn't really matter which way those are facing, it's just what position do you like uh, aesthetically. And then once those are in, what I love about this mini model here is that Unlike other mocks, this one can actually like wings can move. So you can put them in like flying position as if you want to jump to light speed or into the open attack position, which gives the X look and its name. Now, of course, you want it to be attacking or going to hyperspace, you're going to need some engines here. So what we're going to do is get some one by one round plates. I'm using translucent red and I'm going to put those on the back of the ring clip like that. So you just put them on the back of the ring clip four times for all four of the engines. And um, once you have all four of those on, you're going to get the claw pieces here for the laser cannons and if there's any downside to this model it's that all these pieces with the exception of the cone and those round plates are very limited in their color so you, you don't get a lot of variety in what colors you want to use but anyway so I'm gonna take this claw piece and just put it right there on top of in between the clips so it's touching the stud there and um, it's a very loose fit it can pop off so this model is you know better for um, larger mocks displays or maybe in stop motion you're not going to play with them because those are going to kind of fling off and you will probably lose them but anyway just do that four times in all wings just kind of clip it on the sides there and grab see i'm kind of grabbing it's a trial and error of how to get these things to go on nice and easy so you're not bumping off the other ones but just stick it on there and we are done. And there we have an X-Wing fighter. Oh, I've been hit. I did say they pop off easily. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.